UK, there are two major inverted roller coasters. Sorry, Infusion, you don't count. These two B&M inverted coasters get quite a lot of talk, and the big debate among us enthusiasts that divide us straight down the middle? Which is better? Nemesis at Old Towers? Or Nemesis Inferno at Thought Park? Well today, I'm going to be answering that question. Hey guys and welcome to Coaster Friends, and today I'm going to be answering the question, which is better? Nemesis at Alton Towers? Or Nemesis Inferno at Thought Park? Let's dig in. Nemesis was a B&M inverted roller coaster that operated at the Alton Towers Resort from March 19th, 1994 to November 6th, 2022. It stands standing but not operating as it is currently undergoing a major retracking phase to keep the coaster alive for many more years. Nemesis was one of the first major thrill coasters to be opened in the UK, and here are some of its stats. It had a height of 43 feet and a drop of 104 feet. It reached speeds of just over 50 miles an hour and had just under 2400 feet of track. This classed it as a terrain coaster since it wasn't very high off the ground, and it used the terrain and speed to its advantage. Nemesis had four inversions, two corkscrews, a vertical loop and a zero-g roll, and when operating it had a pretty iconic roar sound as it went around the track. Just listen to this. What a beast. The logo, soundtrack and branding also made this ride a UK-wide icon. Nemesis Inferno is a B&M inverted roller coaster that has been operating at the Thorpe Park Resort since April 5th, 2003. It has now been 20 years since it opened and this classic ride has shown no signs of going anywhere in the near future. Nemesis Inferno was the second inverted coaster to open in the UK, opening 9 years after the aforementioned Nemesis at Alton Towers, and here are some of its stats. It has a height of 95 feet, a drop of 92 feet, it reaches speeds of just over 49 miles an hour, and it has just over 2400 feet of track. This ride flies through the jungle themed area of the park and is themed to an erupting volcano. Nemesis Inferno features four inversions, a loop, a zero-g roll, and two interlocking corkscrews. When operating, it has a loud roar that can almost be heard from the other side of the park. Listen to this. Feel the heat. Oh. We've just come off another back row ride on Nemesis Inferno here at Thorpe Park. That was running really well. It's definitely warmed up as the day's gone on. That was really, really good. And now into the interlocking corkscrews. Feel the heat. The soundtrack is an absolute vibe and it is an overall very enjoyable and super smooth coaster. You begin your ride experience on Nemesis when you take a 45 degree right hand turn out of the station and climb a traditional B&M lift hill. It is quite a fast climb but you do realise you're only 43 feet off the ground. You don't get to see much when you're on the lift hill other than if you look to the left and see the first corkscrew or look to the right and see Galactica's lift hill. That's because you are in the forest and you're climbing up the mountain. When you get to the top of the lift hill, you release from a small pre-drop and take a small left-hand turn into a small drop. This drop is quite small and it's only really used to build up the speed to go into the first inversion, an absolutely insane whippy corkscrew. This is one of my favourite inversions on Nemesis 
and you really do feel like your feet are going to get ripped off. You then hit a 270 degree helix banked at 90 degrees. This also is a really feet ripping element. It's really, really intense. You, you feel 3.5 G's for about 3.5 seconds before you get released up into a 0 G roll. This is my favourite element on the ride. You have so much intensity pushed on your body and then you get released into weightlessness. It's a fantastic feeling. You then enter into an 180 degree stall turn just to turn the coaster around before dropping 104 feet into the 30 metre vertical loop. This is a fantastic inversion. You really do feel as if you are upside down. After this you hit a second stall turn, past the station building and into the final hidden inversion, another corkscrew. You then take a right hand turn and hit the brake run, including quite a short ride but it is fantastic and really intense. I really enjoy Nemesis, it is my favourite coaster at the Alton Towers Resort. You begin your ride experience on Nemesis Inferno a little differently to Nemesis. On Nemesis you make a right hand turn out the station, whereas on Nemesis Inferno you make a right hand drop out of the station. The pre-lift section on Inferno is really really cool and I really enjoy it. You hit the lift hill with quite some speed and you climb up to the maximum height of 95 feet. It is quite a fast lift hill and you get quite a good view from up there. You then take a swooping left hand drop which is a really really forceful drop. If you're on the back row you get some fantastic airtime. Into my favourite inversion on the ride, the vertical loop. The vertical loop is significantly shorter than the top of the first lift hill, meaning the train absolutely rips through it and I grey out every single time. You then enter into a zero G roll. It's a fantastic inversion, it's just nowhere near as intense as the one on Nemesis. You make a right hand turn into one of two interlocking corkscrews. I still believe Nemesis Inferno is the only inverted coaster to have interlocking corkscrews. It's a really cool effect. You then get flashed by the camera and go up into a really high helix before dropping into a swooping turn and into the brake run, ending your experience on Nemesis Inferno. Yet again, it's quite a short ride, it's slightly longer than Nemesis, but that's because Nemesis Inferno is slightly slower paced since it has a slower top speed. I really do enjoy Nemesis Inferno, it's a great ride, but let's see now how it lives up to the original. So we have now made it to the most important part of the video, and I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching so far. The support of the channel that you guys have been giving to me recently has means so uh, means so much to me. So honestly, it does. Thank you all so much. Anyway, it's now time to find out which Nemesis I prefer and why. Now, if you've known me for a long time and you've known my favourite coasters, you will already know that Nemesis has been my favourite coaster from November 2019 until April 2023. And I still absolutely adore the ride and I'm really excited for it to come back in 2024. And if you have already watched the Thought Park vlog, you may have had a little spoiler into this, but... I do prefer Nemesis at all the towers. Honestly, I do find it is a much better ride. Don't get me wrong, Nemesis Inferno is a much smoother and more enjoyable ride, but Nemesis at Alton Towers is a lot more intense. You definitely feel as if your feet are going to crack the rock and get ripped off. It is one of the best feelings ever. Nemesis Inferno is still a fantastic coaster. It would just be so much better off with it just being called Inferno because the Nemesis name on the front gets so many people to compare it to the original which is what I have actually just done um, they need to just change the name and change the branding but away from Nemesis because it's a completely different ride aimed at a completely different target audience but there's the difference and I definitely do prefer Nemesis at Alton Towers so uh, that's the end of the video thank you all so much for watching make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one Bye for now.